The evolution of the desktop computer over the years has been staggering. Several decades ago, there were transistors the size of some modern smartphones in some of these computers. And fast forward to today, these transistors can barely be seen by the naked eye. Computers nowadays have incredible technology fitted inside them, such as highly advanced motherboards, powerful, like really powerful graphics cards, and several other components that define a computer to be more than just a computing device. And the glue that keeps these machines running fast is PCIe. Hello everyone, it's Mike from Sabrin. And if you enjoy tech videos and tech related videos, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you stay updated. PCIe stands for Peripheral Component Interconnect Express, and it is used as a standardized interface for motherboard components, including graphics cards, memory, and storage. Many desktop computers have several PCIe slots that can add in GPUs, Wi-Fi cards, and SSDs. You can also have the option to add additional components depending on how you would like your PC to perform and be configured, as there are many adapters for PCIe out there as well. PCIe slots come in different physical configurations. These include X1, X4, X8, and X16. The number after the X tells you how many lanes that PCIe slot has, and the different generation leads to different theoretical maximum bandwidths for those different lanes. The two generations that we'll be looking at today will be PCIe 3.0 and PCIe 4.0, as these two are the mainstream PCIe standards that we have in computers. We'll be taking an overview of both generations and just give you some understanding of what each one brings. PCIe 3.0 is the third generation of PCIe that was introduced in 2010, having a transfer rate of 8 gigatransfers per second and a max theoretical bandwidth of 15.754 gigabytes per second at the X16 slot. Gigatransfers per second is the rate of bits, the ones and zeros, transferred per second that gets transmitted from from the host to the end device or endpoint. The 8 gigatransfers per second bitrate effectively delivers 985 megabytes per second per lane, nearly doubling the lane bandwidth relative to PCIe 2.0. This means that for PCIe 3.0, the bandwidth for the X2 slot is 1.969 gigabytes per second. The bandwidth for the X4 slot is 3.939 gigabytes per second. The bandwidth for the X8 slot is 7.877 gigabytes per second. And then obviously we've got the 15 gigabytes or so for the X16 slot. Important features that 3.0 brought over from 2.0 was enhanced signaling and data integrity, including transmitter and receiver equalization, PLL improvements, and clock data recovery. PCIe upgraded the coding scheme to 128B slash 130B, helping to reduce the bandwidth overhead from 20% of PCIe 2.0 to approximately 1.54% with PCIe 3.0. That's a crazy difference that it brought. The PCIe 4.0 standard debuted in 2017 and offered 31.508 gigabytes per second of bandwidth with the X16 slot. PCIe 4.0 brought double the speeds of 3.0. This meant that the bandwidth for the X1 slot with PCIe 4.0 was 1.969 gigabytes per second. The bandwidth for the X2 slot was 3.938 gigabytes per second. The bandwidth for the X4 slot was a 7.877 gigabytes per second and the bandwidth for the X8 uh, slot was 15.754 gigabytes per second and then obviously the bandwidth for the X16 slot was 31.508 gigabytes per second. So huge improvements. The AMD Ryzen 3000 series CPUs debuted in July of 2019 and they were one of the first desktop CPUs to support PCIe 4.0 X16 out of the box. Both PCIe 3.0 and 4.0 are essentially forwards and backwards compatible. Thanks to the two-way compatibility, the old can be used with the new, and the new can be used for the old. For example, the PCIe 4.0 graphics card could be inserted into a motherboard for a PCIe 3.0 slot, but there will be issues encountered with performance as the bandwidth of the graphics card will be bottlenecked by the slot uh, bandwidth limitations of the Gen 3 slot. Similarly, if you use a Gen 3 graphics card uh, inserted into a motherboard with a PCIe Gen 4 slot, 
this will be fine, but again, the graphics card generation won't be able to fully utilize the higher bandwidths of the PCIe 4.0 due to the PCIe 3.0 bandwidth limitations. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> So should you upgrade to PC 4.0 or not? This is probably one of the most difficult questions to make after everything that we've discussed with PC 3.0 and 4.0, or it might not be because PC 4.0 supports double the bandwidth of 3.0. So if you would like to get higher bandwidth uh, from your peripherals, for example, like your memory and graphics card, then PC 4.0 will be the way to go. But this also means that you'll need to upgrade your CPU and motherboard. Here at Sabrent, for example, we offer SSDs in both the 3.0 and 4.0 standards in the NVMe SSD format. Now the PC 4.0 drives can obviously perform much better than the 3.0 drives because of that max theoretical bandwidth. PC 4.0 will become the standard on pretty much all chips and motherboards in the coming years, the same way that PC 3.0 has done. These performance increases means that not only will your system be much faster for things like gaming, but it also will work better with future technologies like Microsoft Direct Storage technology coming to Windows 11, which has been made possible in part thanks to PCIe 4.0. On the other hand, if you are comfortable with the limitations on the bandwidth of 3.0 and you want to save a bit of money because again 4.0 will cost you some money, then stick to PC 3.0 as this is still going to be fast enough for pretty much most users or most casual users I should say. I will say though, if you are upgrading a rig right now, have PC 4.0 in your mind for your rig because this will become necessary if you want to use the future technologies and also future proof your rig a bit. The most gains will be for NVMe storage. Right now, our Rocket 4 Plus drive, when using a PC 4.0 slot, can almost saturate the whopping 8 gigabytes per second bandwidth. The performance differences aside from storage is going to be minor because through testing, uh, the performance differences were very minimal when using a 4.0 slot over a 3.0 slot, for example, when using different graphics cards. So yes, PC 4.0 doubles the bandwidth of 3.0. And just looking at those numbers, obviously, Yes, if you can upgrade to PC 4.0, then fantastic, go ahead and do it. Because with new technologies from Microsoft, such as the direct storage that I was talking about earlier, then you're gonna be able to utilize those technologies. And there's definitely gonna be more to come. And that is going to depend pretty much heavily on PC 4.0 and its bigger maximum theoretical bandwidth. But anyway, that's it for today's video. Leave a comment down below if you've upgraded to PCI 4.0 and what your experience is, or if you'd like to upgrade to PCI 4.0 and why. If you found this video interesting, then please hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can watch more content just like this one. Anyway, look after yourselves and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.